these homework problems we're going to solve by substitution. If you notice, the first system here, we have x already here solved for x, so we're going to use that as we're going to substitute y minus 2 into the second equation. So I have 3 times y minus 2 minus y equals 6. Now we have one variable to work with. We apply the distributive property. 3y minus 3 times 2 gives you 6 minus y equals 6. 3y minus y gives you 2y minus 6 equals 6. You add 6 to both sides. So you have 2y equals 12 because 6 minus 6 or negative 6 plus 6 gives you 0. Divide by 2. So we have y equals 12 divided by 2 is 6. So now we're going to go ahead and substitute y equals 6 into the equation that we used originally. So I'm going to go ahead and use a different color. So we have x equals y minus 2, which is 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 gives you 4. So the solution is 4 comma 6. I'm going to solve the second system, which is number 4. And you notice here we have 2x plus y equals negative 1. I'm going to solve for y. So I have 2x plus y equals negative 1. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I have y equals, and you know, you can't subtract these two, negative 2x and negative 1. So you have negative 2x minus 1. So the equation that I'm going to use is y equals negative 2x minus 1. So I'm going to use that as a, to substitute into the first equation. I'm going to substitute this into the first equation. So I have 6x minus 3 parentheses. Since that's the value of y, it's negative 2x minus 1 equals negative 33. So I have 6x, negative 3 times negative 2 gives you plus 6x, negative 3 times negative 1 gives you positive 3 equals negative 33. And we have 6x plus 6x, which gives you 12x plus 3 gives you negative 33. Subtract 3 from both sides. So you have 12x equals negative 36 divided by 12. So x equals negative uh, 3. So now we're going to substitute x into this equation here to find y. So we have y equals negative 2 times negative 3 minus 1. So we have y equals 6 minus 1 because negative 2 times negative 3 gives you 6. 6 minus 1 gives you 5. So the solution is negative 3, 5. Number 6, John is 6 years older than Bill. If their combined age is 35 years, how many year, years old is Bill and John? So I know that John, I'm going to use J for John. John is 6 years older than Bill. So 6 years older than Bill. If their combined age is 35, so we have John and Bill have a comb combined age of 35. Now I need to know how many does each of them, how old is each, each person? Well, I have J is equal to 6 plus B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use substitution to solve this system. So instead of J, I'm going to write 6 plus B. Instead of J, I'm going to write 6 plus B, plus B gives you 35. This first part is John's age. This second part is Bill's age and combined at 35. Now I just have Bill's age here, so I have 2B plus 6 equals 35. I subtract 6 from both sides. I have 2B is equal to, um, this will be 20, twenty-eight 
29 divided by 2. So Bill's age will be 14 years and a half. How old will John be? Just add 16, so he's 20 and a half. It's going to be six more than Bill, remember? So John is 20 and a half. So I'm solving number eight. It says Melissa has 11 more pennies and nickels. So we know that we're talking about pennies. We don't know the amount of pennies. And we're talking about nickels. This would mean that we have the same amount of pennies and the same amount of nickels. But it says we have 11 more pennies. So I'm going to add 11 here since we have 11 more pennies. Uh, the total amount of value that we have here is 0 0.01 penny. That's the value of a penny plus 0 0.05 N is equal to $2.35. Now, I don't like to work with decimals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply each of them by 100. So what I have is I have 1P plus 5N equals 235. Because remember, you're, mo you're moving the decimal place two places when you multiply by 100. Uh, now the new system, the new system will include 1P plus 5N equals 235, and then P equals N plus 11. So here is my new system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solve by substitution. So where you see the P, I'm going to substitute N plus 11. So we have N plus 11. That's the value of P plus 5N equals 235. So you have 6N plus 11 equals 235. Uh, you're going to go ahead uh, subtract 11. So you have 6n equals 224. So you're going to have 224 divided by 6 and you get n equals 224 divided by 6 gives you 37 and a third nickels. So approximately, I would say 37 nickels. So to find how many pennies you're going to have, you're going to substitute that back into P. So we have P is equal to 37 plus 11. So it's 7 plus 1 gives you 8. So you're looking at 48, approximately 48 pennies. 48 pennies and 37 nickels.